Well, good day, viewers, and here we have a little bit of fresh snow down from overnight. Today is Friday, and today is Groundhog Day, actually. So it kind of looks like we're going to get another six weeks of winter. I think that's how it goes. I didn't see a shadow, so... Anyway, this is going to be a quick little clip here. Uh, today is the tractor traction test video, so it's going to be a little bit long, I guess, so I'm going to try and keep my weather report shorter. So we'll come around here. And we have one degree at the moment, or minus one. 30 degrees, 31 degrees Fahrenheit. So just below the freezing point. Southeast wind at 11 kilometers an hour, so you don't really feel anything outside wind wise. So for the weekend, which I've been kind of mentioning a little bit, there we are. Tonight, period of snow. Tomorrow, period of snow, period of snow, snow on Sunday, snow and blowing snow Sunday night, snow and blowing snow Monday morning, snow and blowing snow Monday night, and periods of snow for Tuesday. So there you go. Still really don't know how much all that's going to be, but I don't think it's a major amount of snow. I'd say probably 20 centimeters, I think. Depends on which uh, which forecasters you watch or whatever. Uh, they all kind of look for the ratings, so each one of them is different. So that's that's that. Now just want to come back here for a minute. I want to do a little a little talk about the tractors here before you see the the video on the traction test. But I do want to say something else first. Um, Rick, Rick's outdoors was kind of wanting to have uh, my snow, he was saying in his video this morning. And I really kind of want to have his weather. I think he's got 60 to 70 degree weather. And uh, they're uh, down in South Carolina. So Rick and his wife Donita, they have a little, or not a little, they have a, a nice size wood selling business there. So, And as I've said before, if you want to see big wood getting split, go to that channel right there. They put up three foot diameter rounds on that Wolf Ridge splitter and split up big 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 wood always got big wood so Rick said that he wanted to come here and play in the snow because I guess he likes likes doing that but he hasn't got any snow so I said you're welcome anytime to come right along now I don't know about Donita if she likes the snow as well as Rick does but I, I don't know that for sure but I've got just a thing here for Donita She's gonna, she comes along, she'll have a nice cab to sit in to do the snow work. And the cab has got a nice heated seat. So there you go, Dottie. That's the machine for you right there. <laughs> anyway, thanks for the mention today. And uh, so I had said that I didn't know which one of these tractors was going to win the traction test but I did have a thought I guess my thought was that the Massey Ferguson was going to win that's what my thought was next in line I thought if the John Deere had changed then it might win because I know on a grass surface 
Uh, my son and I had a tug of war one time between the John Deere and the Nassie Ferguson. So both tractors had basically the same tires, just as one's a little wider than the other. Uh, the John Deere didn't have any weight or snow blower on it at that time. And the Massey Ferguson didn't have any chains. But it had the rear weight and the blade on it. Now the, the John Deere had no trouble pulling that tractor around on the grass. So, And this was quite a long time ago, long before we ever had the case. So hard to know what the case would do. So. Anyway, we'll get into the video here and uh, you can see what happened. All right, tractors, get yourselves prepared for the traction test 2024. Start your engines. I'm out. So there we are, all lined up, ready to go. I'm going to come straight ahead and uh, just kind of come past this little pole here that I have and we'll see if we can get through into this cleared area here. Now what I might do about halfway through, I might stop and then see if they'll back up and then continue on through. So they're all set there. And I'll get you set up here somewhere. Fairly evenly spaced. Engines are rumbling. So on with the 2024 traction test. And being that the case seems to be the favorite, it's going first. Yes. Mm. 
Okay. Let's see how this works. I gotta be able to see into the camera, I suppose. So. Okay, well, you can just kind of see the, the start of the practice there and that little pole over there. There we go, let's try that.
There we go. John Deere had a little bit of trouble there. But again, I have to kind of right there where I got stopped, where the front wheel were, where some of the packed snow from the snow goers, so. and because of that type of tire on the front, it's not good either. But didn't do too bad. They're all now. Uh, the other thing is, no chain. If he had chains, I think it'd be a little different story. They all did fairly well, I would say. I would say that the uh, Nancy Ferguson is just as good as the case. Seems a blue headlight in the John Deere. Look at that. Anyway. So, let me know your thoughts. Who do you think is better? If we had no front attachments, it might make a difference too. But. Well, I'll take you around the back here and show you what I was driving through. Looks like I might have a little yard work to do this this summer. <laughs> anyway, I don't know, about a foot deep maybe. If not that much maybe. Eight, nine inches. And then we drove through here. Yeah, kind of 
a good fourth or more of snow there. Anyway, there we are. That concludes the traction test for 2024. I'll have to find chains for the John Deere for next year. <laughs> 2025 traction test. And I thank all the participants for entering into the challenge. And uh, you all did very well. Thank you very much. What I would like to see, just for some entertainment, which is one of those uh, Kubota subcompact tractors like what Luke has. You see how it would drive through there in two-wheel drive and no diff lock. What do you think about that? How would a subcompact do in this test? In those conditions? Snow blower or an attachment on the front? Some weight on the back? No chains? And no diff lock in two wheel drive? How would a subcompact of today's world compare? So there we go. Thanks for watching, people. Just some uh, entertainment for us for a day. <laughs> Just got them out and got them running and well, that's good. A little bit of snow coming on the weekend, so they're all fired up and ready for that. Have a good day wherever you're at and whatever you're doing. Thanks again for watching. Thanks to the new subscribers. And uh, have a great day. Goodbye now. All right, they're all back. Snug in their spots. Now, I just want to take you around. I should have taken you with me on this little drive, but me and the case went for a little drive afterwards. Anyway, I'll go and show you where I went. Nothing too drastic. I came around this way. back out in this direction, out through the back. Snow has kind of warmed up a bit, so the snow is kind of like a, a snowman snow. So then we come up here and drove out through that way. Out around by the other side of the propane tank and around the front of the house. So anyway, that was kind of fun. Like I say, have a good day wherever you're at and whatever you're doing and thanks for watching and we'll see what happens next year. All right, we've got a little bonus footage here. There was somebody that was wanting to see this tractor going through the snow. So we'll see what it does.
So if it won't go through it, it'll move it. Now the poor old Ford, it's a lot heavier than the other three tractors. And, you know, only by a couple hundred pounds, maybe. But anyway, the, the blower doesn't lift very far off the ground. And that's a lot of its trouble, why it had trouble here. But she gets her work. More grass to fix up this summer. And anyway, this stuff here, like I say, at the end here, is the thrown stuff that I put there from before, so. That old pack stuff that comes from a blower, is, is, it packs just like cement. Anyway, she's not quite as good as the other ones, I suppose, but. You know, if it, if it didn't have the blower on the front of it, it would be better. But like I say, that tractor, if there's a snowbank in front of it, it's moving. And that's all there is to that. It, uh, it's, it, it, has, it has had snow coming over, coming over the blower, up past the chute. And up probably about two or three inches above the engine bonnet. And still pushing. And that was at the end of the driveway, the stuff that the plow put in. So, she's a capable old girl. She does. <laughs> That's some snow on her here. Anyway, she's kind of... She's kind of used for the heavy, heavy stuff, which we haven't had. And, uh, and it's in kind of, it's the oldest that we have, so I'm going to try and keep it from breaking or whatever, so. It's got a cab, though, and a heated seat. And it's, it's moved an awful lot of snow. All right, so that's a little bonus. So now the fellow that wanted to see this will see it. And he's a snowplow driver, so he knows what it's like to move snow or go through it. All right, so... That's going to be it for this clip. <laughs> There's many clips in this little goings on here, I guess. So, anyhow, I'll get the uh, I'll get the favorite back inside. There's the favorite. So I'll get that back inside, and then we'll do a little a little tally up here, and uh, I'll put in my own thoughts. Before the video of the traction test 2024. All right, so I'm starting to ramble, so we'll uh, see you later. Goodbye. All right, so video is done now, so you know what happened in the traction test, so I've got a few things I kind of want to say about it. Um, basically, all the tractors are, are basically all the same, other than the John Deere, because it didn't have chains, maybe. It's hard to know whether how that would change it. But the, uh, the case and the uh, Nancy Ferguson, in my mind, are pretty well identical. Now, you fellas can... Say in the comments what you think about who won, or was it a tie, or, or what. Anyway, the John Deere's disadvantage is 
the wide tires on the front and the wide tires on the back. So if it had smaller or narrower tires and chains, I would say it would be comparable to the case and the Massey Ferguson. The Ford, I really don't have to say anything about. It kind of, it showed what it can do. Now I mentioned about having uh, some of the guys with the subcompact four-wheel drive tractors, like what Luke has, or at Orange is My New Green, or Dave at RCAF Polar Express. Uh, Mike at Maintenance with Mike. Uh, I don't know if anybody has a John Deere. Any of the ones that I watch, I don't know. I can't think of that. Anyway, it'd be kind of neat to see if you have a thought <laughs> and do it just for the heck of it, as we all say. If you can find seven or eight inches or nine inches of snow and you've got a front attachment, and you've got one of them subcompact tractors. Uh, give her a go in the snow just for the heck of it and see what it'll do in two wheel drive and without the diff lock engaged. I'd be just curious to see how they work. With or without change, and that makes no difference. I said no change in the earlier in the video, but. It makes no difference if you know, if you got chains on, you got chains on. Because I've got chains on two of mine and three of mine and one without. So anyway, that was a good fun thing to do. It was kind of nice to get the tractors out and do something with them. And uh, I might be having more fun this coming week. <laughs> so there's snow coming, I think. All right, we'll cut her off at that. Uh, thanks for watching, and, and uh, thanks for liking my foolish videos. <laughs> All right, have a great day wherever you're at and whatever you're doing, and uh, have a great weekend. Goodbye now. Well, I'm back again. Of course, I forgot to say something. Um, so, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the snow has started, so that's going to be it for the next, until Tuesday. Snow, snow, snow. Anyway, what I didn't say was uh, there was uh, 14 votes for the case, two for the Massey Ferguson, and one for the John Deere. I just thought I'd put that in the video. All right, have a great day. Goodbye now.